In today's activity, we're going to be looking at these tennis balls that you're creating at your tennis ball company. So ball number one here is bouncing and it takes one, two, three, like, I don't know, it just seems to die really fast. It's not bouncing very well. So I'm going to vote that it's bad. I'm going to, going to say, I think it is bouncing like it is filled with sand and unhappiness. Yeah, it this just doesn't seem like a really happy ball. So I'm gonna click share with class, boom. Um, other people's guesses and, and ideas will show up here when y'all are filling this out. But what I really wanted to help you with is actually trying to predict the equation of this bouncing ball. So this ball is going to follow an exponential equation. And we remember our exponential equation at, with the percent change. And I think that this is like dying by like, I don't know, 90% or 60%. Who knows? It just, it seems to die really fast. So I was going to go with a high one. Now I want to zoom through this assignment all the way to the first equation that we need to do. And again, we are talking about ball number one. So previously you predicted this tennis ball is bad. Well, let's put in the equation of an exponential equation. So we can say f of x equals, and then I'm going to have my a parentheses 1 plus r parentheses raised to the x. Now in this situation, I know that I'm going to start at this value, which is 4. So I'd replace my a with a 4. I also know that I need to give a percent change for my r. So since this is decreasing, this R needs to be a negative percent. So I'm going to go ahead and change all this out to be negative. Let's just go with an easy 60% like that. So here I have negative 60% and I can click share with class and it gives me my graph right here. And I see that this doesn't line up perfectly. It's close, um, but it actually needs to go farther down. I need to go take away more percent. So let's do 65. Let's see if that makes it better. Minus 65. It loses 65% of its bounce. Well, that's closer. So we just keep going and guessing. So let's go minus 75%. So every bounce loses 75% of its bounce. Ooh, this one's super duper duper close. Wow, it even looks like it's close on bounce four and five. So if 75% if loss, let's go with maybe 80% loss, bada bing, bada boom, we got it. That is fantastic. Another way you could think about this, um, you could just do away with the whole 80% loss and think about it positively. You could just do the same graph here and just have a, a decimal in here. As long as your decimal is less than one, we know that it's losing uh, height. So you could just guess straight away this way. Um, I know right away because like 80% loss means only 20% remains. So if I put this as 20% remaining, it's going to match up perfectly. So you can think about it either way you want with the 1 plus R or just with your ratio in there. All right. I hope you have fun and good luck.